Jay Steno here. Look, we got a floating sea anemone washing up. Let's talk more about this. And there's actually not a lot known about these. Um, the, if you want to look it up for more detail, uh, which there's not much out there, uh, Actinecta is the genus. And I'll put it on the screen so that if y'all want to look uh, more into it. But I usually find these at the same time of the year when there's a lot of blue buttons washing in, by the wind sailors, uh, man of wars. Uh, I can find quite a few of these. And so in an area, if, if you see a lot of blue buttons, which you know, those come in pockets. And so you can find, you know, thousands of them. Uh, on one stretch of the beach and then you go to another stretch of the beach and you don't find any well with these It's not quite that many um, I'd say there was an area where there were thousands of blue buttons coming in and In a stretch of about a hundred feet. I was able to find like ten of these uh, Which is qu that's quite a few. I mean a floating anemone, you know, most anemones are attached to rocks and They're they're on the bottom uh, You know the sea floor or something so to be able to have one that's floating around uh, there are some other ones like the the uh, onion anemone we find that washing up every once in a while it looks like a little onion that washes up you know on the beach uh, but this one a little bit more about it is it has a floating base to it so the base to it has air bubbles in it and it actually floats upside down so right here you see the white is on top that's where the air bubbles and stuff are and then the part that's going down it's it's sucked up right now but they actually have tentacles that uh, come out the bottom and then that is what they catch their prey with uh, which is plankton we got some reports that people were finding sea cucumbers up on the beach but they although they might look like a sea cucumber uh, they're actually a uh, floating sea anemone. So uh, I'll try to get some close-up shots so you can see this thing up close. And uh, they're kind of interesting. If you can find a bunch of them, they'll all be floating together. And uh, if you sometimes, like when I found this one, it was kind of elongated um, and, and the white was showing. Sometimes when you find these, they are sitting upright with the white on top and it looks like bird poop. And uh, so, you know, just something to look for whenever you're walking around at the beach. Um, they're not very big. I think the biggest one I found was like maybe an inch in size, uh, maybe an inch and a half. So they're pretty small, but you know, with this, these close up shots, you ought to be able to identify them now if you see them at the beach, but okay. That's it for this episode of Beachcoming. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.